Okay, we've talked about the two main types of symmetry when you say something has symmetry. Um, your line is the one where you're going to fold on an actual line. So, you know, you should see when you draw it. Oh, I think that's right here. If you're drawing a line, that is called line symmetry. The rotation, if you're holding onto a point, you're turning it. Okay? Rotate is to turn. Now, there's one more special kind. And I'm going to move this down because point symmetry, what do you, how do you get a point? A point is when you were turning it. So in this one, you held on to the middle of the star. In this one, you hold on, held on to the middle of the heart. Here, the middle of the flag. Okay, and I was turning around that point. All right, so when I hear point, I immediately should be thinking, oh, this is some kind of rotational symmetry. And it's a special kind. It's rotational symmetry. Point symmetry is when a figure has rotational symmetry at 180 degrees. Okay, so what does that mean? Specifically, it means if I take something and turn it upside down, is it the same? Is it the same? when I turn it upside down. If I say yes, then it has point of symmetry. So let's look at all these shapes up here at the top. <clears throat> okay, so again, what's point symmetry? Oh, I'm going to rotate about a point, so it's a rotational symmetry, and 180 degrees is upside down. So let's look at the star. If I turn this star, so right now the arrow is pointing up when I start, when I turn it upside down, nope, now that point is going down and it's not, there was a crease there before. So this does not have point symmetry. No point. Okay, now the heart. The heart, it doesn't even have rotational symmetry, so no point. Absolutely not. Okay, and then this last one, take the flag, turn that upside down. Boom, my arrow is pointed upside down. That has rotational of 180 degrees. So this flag right here, yes, it has point symmetry. Okay, so try some practice on your symmetry.